Hey students, in this video we're going to combine some of our previous knowledge to make it so that when my character falls off this platform, he comes back to the top. For starters, we're going to use one of our volumes. I'm going to use a trigger volume, and I want to change its size so that I can put it beneath my whole level. So over here you can see it has a shape, x, y, and z of 200. I'm going to change the x to like 4,000 and the Y to 4,000 while leaving the Z about where it is. So you can see I have this big zone and I could maybe even stand to make it a little bigger. <clears throat> but right here I want to center it beneath my level and sort of like place it uh, as far down as I would like the player to fall before they respawn. And right about there. Now to make it so that this does something uh, when we hit it, I could create a blueprint that has this trigger in it and place it in here, but I want that blueprint to specifically refer to actual things in my level. So to do that, we're going to use a special blueprint called the level blueprint. And this is basically a pre-made blueprint that includes all the objects in my level and can refer to them. So I'm going to open the level blueprint. You will notice it doesn't have the section where I can see the things that are in it. Um, and it'll be useful for us to drag it off because we're going to have to click some things in the level. Now in the level blueprint, we're going to do our first sort of programming here. And what I want to do is create an event. And you can see I have some existing events here. This is begin play and it happens when I press the play button. And this is tick, it happens every frame of the game playing, but we need a new one. I want to make sure that in the engine, I have my trigger volume selected. Because when I do that, when I right click to create new nodes, it's going to give me some that are specific to what I have selected. So notice here it says create a reference to trigger volume. And specifically, we want to add an event for trigger volume. So I'm going to go under here to collision. And the event I want is on actor begin overlap. And it's going to create this node for me. On actor begin overlap means when some actor overlaps the trigger, stuff is going to happen. Now, what we want to do is communicate with other blueprints and also check to see what thing is touching us. In Unreal, that's called casting. So I'm clicking and dragging off here. I'm going to type cast to. And you notice I have lots of things here that I can cast to. I can cast to all the existing types of blueprints in my uh, game. But right now, I'm playing as a third person character. So uh, I'm going to type third. And you see I have some options here. And I want this one, cast the third person character, because that's who my character is. Um, if you were playing a ball game, it would say cast to physics ball BP. If you were playing a first person shooter, it would be cast to first person character. Um, if you were playing a car game, it would be cast to vehicle. It's whatever your uh, player start is spawning into the level, okay? And you can actually see that in here. Uh, somewhere. Actually, it is in our uh, blueprint game mode. Um, now, I've added the cast to, and so this happens afterwards, but it needs to know what. So we connect this object to other actor, because the other actor is the thing that is touching my trigger volume. Now, what do I want to do? Well, when I cast to this third person character, what I want to do is to teleport, teleport. So here's the teleport node and it says, what do we teleport target self? Well, the self in this respect would be the level blueprint. We don't want to teleport the level blueprint. We want to teleport the third person character and then we can just give it a location. So if I wanted to, I could find a location in here. Um, for example, I'm going to assume this is at somewhere near zero, zero, zero. 
So I want to be a little bit above the ground. So let's say 0, 0, 200. And if I compile this and I get no errors, I can hit play. And if my character falls off, he teleports back to 0, 0, 200. Here he is. Now, if we want to be a little more specific, we can instead get a dis like a specific location for him. So I'm going to grab this event begin play. And uh, I'm going to create a variable. In fact, we're going to turn this destination location into a variable. We could make our own here, but I'm just going to right click right here on destination location and tell it to promote to variable. And it's going to create a new variable for me. Over here, I can see the variable's details. It's a vector, because it's x, y, and z. And I'm going to give it a name, respawn location. Now, the benefit of this is now I can have this respawn location potentially change later. Right now, I just need to set it at the start of the game. So we have event begin play. I'm going to drag respawn location into here and choose set. So when the game starts, I want to set the respawn location. And what do I want to set it to? Well, I can drag this off and type get actor location. And it's not giving me the one I want. So I'm going to turn off context sensitive because it's guessing that's the one I want get actor location, and we want to target something. Well, I could target my character, but he doesn't exist in the level yet. So I'm going to target this, the player start. Now that I have it selected, I can go back to my level blueprint and right click, turn back on context sensitive, and choose create a reference to player start. Drag that over. And now, when I press play, it's going to store where the player started as a variable. And then if I ever fall off, that's where I'm going to be teleported to. Compile and save. And this is asking me to save my level at this point, which I've neglected to do. So I'm going to call this blueprint level. If I hit play, here I am. If I fall off, I teleport right back to where I started. And I'm even facing the way that I would be when I started the game. Check for a later video where we're going to look at how we can change that respawn location when the player gets to certain areas.